wrestling made its first Olympic appearance at the ancient games of 708 BC. It's one of the oldest and most elemental Olympic sports and has featured in all but one of the modern games. At London 2012, there were 344 wrestlers from 71 countries battling for medals. Wrestling's governing body, FILA, has 177 member nations, yet its status as an Olympic sport is under threat. Earlier this year, the IOC provisionally cut wrestling from the 2020 Games in favour of modern pentathlon. The International Olympic Committee has since put wrestling on a short list for inclusion with squash and baseball. A final decision on which sport will be included in the Games will be made at the IOC's General Assembly in September. One athlete who stands to be affected by wrestling's possible omission from the Olympics is Canadian freestyle wrestler Dorothy Yates. Last year, Yates won the World Junior Championship and just two weeks later claimed silver at her first Senior World Championship. It's a little um, saddening to see, to see it go, if it goes. I mean, like I said, I'm confident it won't because this is, this is the Olympic Games. This is what every amateur athlete looks to achieve. Like, world championships happen every year. Olympics are every four years. Winning that, it's like, you know, one year you could be completely ready, and if you miss it, like, the next four years later, maybe you're not at the same spot. You know, this is, like, the ultimate achievement in wrestling. Yates lives in Montreal, a city that's produced some of Canada's leading sports stars, including ice hockey's Mario Lemieux and boxer Arturo Gatti. It's home to over 1.6 million people, making it the country's second largest city. Built on the hills of Montréal, from which the city takes its name, Montreal is also recognized as Canada's cultural capital. Prior to discovering her aptitude for wrestling, Dory had been a gymnast, but became disillusioned with the lack of progress she'd made in that sport. My father, a five-time Greco-Roman wrestling uh, Olympian, right? Um, he said, why don't you try wrestling? It's uh, new for women. You'd have a good chance at, um, you know, same idea, making it far pretty quick. And so I gave it a shot, and uh, after six, just six months of wrestling, I won my age division's national championship. So I was like, well, there we go. I have achieved more in six months in wrestling than I did my whole life in gymnastics. So I kind of like took it from there and haven't looked back. Dory's father, Doug, competed in every Olympics from Montreal in 1976 to Barcelona in 1992, his best result being a fifth-place finish at the Los Angeles Games of 1984. He recently took over as his daughter's main coach. Coming from a gymnastics background, uh, she had all the athletic tools, coordination, strength, flexibility, all of that was in place right from the beginning. And probably the next aspect that she's developed, she's become very diversified. In other words, she's not a, she's not a one-trick pony. She's not somebody who's just going to do this, and if you can shut this down, uh, you, you'll have a chance to beat her. I mean, she has a very diversified approach to the sport. Dory's boyfriend and club teammate Matt Miller is also coached by her father. Matt is a former national champion at 84 kilos, and he often goes on training runs with Dory around Mont Royal. Yeah. Right, In wrestling circles, Dory has gained a reputation for being able to adjust her game plan mid bout, an attribute which Matt fully appreciates. It's something that's got to happen fast, and she has the ability to make those changes quickly. She's Focus. She's always in the mat, in the match, uh, and she's got a, a special talent for that. Something that we're all working towards, but uh, sometimes something that you can't teach. Currently ranked number six in the world, Yates reached a career high of number two last year in the 67 kilo division. The 19-year-old has enjoyed immediate success at senior level, but is still also eligible to compete in the juniors. This one in the middle here is my gold medal from the Youth Olympic Games in Singapore 2010. Um, this gold medal here on the right, I got just this year in Thailand at the Junior World Championships. And with this gold medal, I also got this cool belt in the back here. It says, Champion du Monde. 
Dori's mother, Katie, hails from Hungary and was herself a fine gymnast, having represented the Hungarian national team. With such a strong family sporting tradition, Dori is well aware that success is built on hard work. Well, the first part is um, you have to make your sport your priority. It has to be not, okay, we'll see when I can train or we'll see when I can compete or we'll kind of, it has to be, I'm going to train, I'm going to compete, let's see when I can do everything else. Um, to get the right physical conditioning, I have to train two to three times a day. Um, so like swimming, running, biking, weightlifting, wrestling practices, those are the five main exercises that I do. Thanks to her success on the mat, Dori has become a role model for a number of local girls who've been inspired to take up wrestling. I have a group of girls that come to um, my training with me and they're all beginners from high school and I coach them and I think they all look up to me and it helps, it motivates them. I mean, I see them, at, they have like their eyes are like bright with, they want to learn, they want to learn from me. So it feels also good to know that I'm helping. When she's not training, Dori spends her time studying pure and applied sciences at Vanier College and has designs on becoming an engineer. Recognizing the demands of her wrestling career, the college has allowed her to take a reduced course load over a longer period of time than would normally be the case. Although she's committed to her academic studies, there's no doubting Dory's determination to scale wrestling's heights in the years to come. Dory is a champion, and uh, you know I think she proved it this past year in winning the Junior Worlds. Two weeks later, taking a, a silver medal at the Senior World Championships as a first first year junior, uh, it's one of the most impressive feats I've ever seen in wrestling, men's or women's. You know, it's. Uh, it's something that is just spectacular and it speaks to her character, speaks to her ability. It looks like she's going to have another shot to do that again this year. Um, so we're going to see what happens. Hopefully she can come away with two golds and then 2016 Olympic champion Dory Yates. Keep your eyes open. Based on my second place um, finish at the Senior Worlds, my next goal is um, to win the Senior World Championships and then um, I'd ultimately like to win the Olympic Games. That was my ultimate achievement, but I've been trying to condition my brain to <laughs> see if just winning the Senior World Championships would be enough, but it's, I'd really like to go to the Olympics and I'd really like to win, so I really hope 2020 gets back in. With wrestling's Olympic future in doubt, Dory's only chance to win gold at the Games may come in 2016. Given the stellar start to her senior career, she looks sure to be a contender in Rio.